I adore journaling and have definitely had many years of bullet journaling and enjoying that process too, but sort of moving more into a digital setup, it's taken me a while to figure things out, but I'm super excited to be talking about my system today. It's relatively simple and I will explain how I've gotten to this point and also show y'all what I do. So stay tuned and thanks for being here. Um, so I've been trying to film this video and I realized that the way I'm just all over the place and traveling and not home <laughs> and that I just moved all kind of comes together in the topic of this video like how do I get stuff done <laughs> not having my own place like traveling commuting to university and just having so much go on like balance balance being productive and focused there are definitely things that help me do that and those things have changed over time i think i want to highlight the theme here in my life which is changes like with my last life planner setup that i had a notion my calendar I haven't been using that for over a year and you know I sort of entered this period in my life where I stopped planning stuff <laughs> like I stopped planning micro on the micro level and only had like big events in my Google Calendar I believe clutter can be distracting doing too much can be distracting And in that sense, planning too much can be distracting because above all, it's just the planning. Like it's not the actual doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? All of this is about actually doing the things and actually enjoying doing the things. It's not so much about the planning and there's no such thing as like a perfect planning system. That actually explains why me not having a planning system didn't make my whole life fall apart, you know? It's because I just focused on doing the stuff. <laughs> and I think that was very valuable to learn. One aspect reminiscent of bullet journaling that I've already been implementing is some art with covers in my last planner. But I still felt like I was missing the process. Um, I did have a really great template, it's still linked down below for my life planner. But I feel like that took away of the spontaneous creativity. And so I guess the question became like, how do I implement being inspired each month by other creators, other people's journals and creating something new, you know, like having this like page to play around with, which I don't feel like I had, which I don't feel like I have that opportunity or enjoy the process as much on Notion. And so I've definitely been considering so much in the last couple of months, getting another physical bullet journal. And you know, I definitely don't exclude that option. I just felt like I wanted something in between the paper version of my bullet journal and the planning system that I have right now where I could just be a little more free and a little more creative with the page setups that I do. I also feel like knowing what works for us requires us to try different things out. And yeah, as I've said, like it's been extremely valuable to have a very simple system slash not really a system because now i know the essentials i feel like of what i need and what i would like to have as a system and i feel like what's going on right now is so good so let's talk about it I want 
to show y'all how I set up my digital bullet journal and how easy that is in X-Tiles. So I will take you through my process of creating my November pages. I separate my bullet journal menu, which is going to include different like topics or areas of my life and my life planning section. Um, so I have two different personal spaces for that. Speaking of my monthly setup and y'all like I'm just so excited to be doing this again. Like it really brings me joy to plan intentionally and have fun with it. So this is where I plan to basically have my calendar. So each month is going to be represented by a new project. So creating a new project, easy. Now we have this page right here with this blank project. Maybe the first thing we can do is add a cover. Y'all may know that I have created a cover pack that is inspired by bullet journaling and like having a monthly setup. So here are a few examples. And obviously that is exactly what I wanted for a monthly spread like this. So let's add the November cover, but you can use any cover you would like to. Now we can create pages. And I love the orientation of being able to flip through the pages up here. Referring back to how I use bullet journal, I used to make like a, I don't know, like a decorative page, maybe sort of add inspirations, quotes, affirmations. I just love that we can go crazy with this, y'all. <laughs> so that's what I keep the first page free for. And then to the main part, I add um, a slider page. Now a slider page is sort of this one page up here, but it includes multiple pages within, which is ideal for the way I plan my weeks. So I just create one slider page per week and organize it that way. And so it's super easy to like flip through everything. And for the weekly setup itself, another great thing about X tiles are their templates choose a template like this one for a weekly planner and you don't have to do anything else like you can literally just start using it i usually customize it a bit but for the most part i love starting with a blank page and just going with the flow like as if i'm doing this on paper except for the fact that it's digital and i can add in media super easily and i can move things around and yeah, just like create fun pages. As I said, this is my weekly planner. This is actually where I capture my tasks. And what I love about X tiles is that when you make to-do lists, they're going to be over here. Like your tasks are all going to be collected. You can integrate your calendar and stay on top of your tasks. Like no matter on which pages you have to-do lists, they're all going to be here. You can sort them according to dates, priority. And that is something that I've definitely been missing with Notion. You can definitely do it. It just takes a bit more time. And like for me personally, it's been a bit more complicated to get to that point. This, you can call this whatever you would like to. It's just basically a page that includes all of the other life projects of mine in one. And if we refer this to a bullet journal, you know how like because it's physical, you sort of have to have things on certain pages and in a certain order, right, of the pages. And to be able to find your stuff, you need an index. So we could basically see this menu as an index. And I just feel like the way this is organized works so well for a digital bullet journal because you can just create any pages you would like. and make new projects for each one of them and have this like great overview of your information of your data of your bullet journaling of your your life my menu would be like i already have my creative work one um one could be like self-love and self-care one could be actually like a reflection section or a diary section but i personally do that in my other journal which i also talked about in this video you could do travel spreads and go really in depth with this because you have unlimited pages right because it's digital i think i'm just feeling like this boost of energy because i feel so empowered to create 
and be creative and try things out. So I would be pumped for y'all to also be able to unleash that and play around and have something, have a space to do that in. You can find X Tiles linked down in the description box. Go check it out. Some of y'all might be just as keen as I am to start your digital bullet journal or use X Tiles just for your personal projects, organizing your life and your tasks so that we can work efficiently, but like enjoy the process. So again, X Tiles linked down below and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Then of course, y'all, we have my journal. I've referred to this in the past as my bedside journal. This is something I write in basically every day. This is purely for me, personal capturing, personal diary. I just write down everything, basically. I write down what I'm grateful for, beautiful moments, my most desperate, overwhelmed moments, my mental breakdowns. This has been a process that's been so grounding for the last couple of years of doing it. Writing in a notebook is something that I, like it got reignited in me with bullet journaling. And actually why I stopped bullet journaling? Because I was just writing so much. I wasn't doing much of the art anymore. So isn't it funny how now it's kind of coming forth again in different ways. I do the writing here and I do the creative stuff, the planning, and the art or like the decorating in my digital bullet journal you know sometimes one relaxing activity i do have is like scrolling pinterest and for that to be a part of my planning system and being able to just be like oh let me decorate my digital bullet journal that's like such a joy to me um so yeah with my bedside journal which has been <laughs> so trusted and wow one of my favorite things in life like literally it makes me write it makes me reflect it makes me capture and process things and be able to be honest and be able to put things into words like such an amazing process let me know if y'all want me to talk about this again but i'm going to be linking my previous journaling videos in the description box and also if you're interested in my covers in my digital art banners that you can use for physical and digital planners they're also going to be linked down below and lastly check out x tiles i've been loving using it for my digital bullet journal thank you for being here i hope this was interesting and valuable and i will see you soon until then peace you